All the best players in the world, the best golf swings we look at, Tommy Fleetwood, Rory McIlroy, Adam Scott, all of those great players, they set this right arm in a lovely position to get the club in a lovely position as they make their way into the top of the backswing. And this is so crucial if we want to improve the ball striking, set ourselves up in for a great downswing to take place, but also improving the overall ball flight. And we see so many amateurs time and time again down here at the golf projects where golfers really suffer with getting this trail arm of ours, this right arm for me being a right-handed player, way too disconnected as we take the club up to the top of the swing. So we're gonna be looking at this in further detail today, how and why this happens in the golf swing, what we see so many amateurs do wrong with this right arm, how we can fix this and how this should work in your golf game. So for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Harry, a golf teacher professional here to help you improve your golf game. So please do consider clicking that subscribe button as there's lots more content coming out every single week and it helps me further produce them and help you improve your golf game. So what we see all the best players in the world do, they'll make their way up into the very top of the swing and as they get this right arm, they get this right arm to fold in a way that allows connection to take place between both arms and the club all the way up to the top of the swing. Now, the key to this is the way the right arm moves. You can see here the right arm moves almost on this upward motion where the elbow stays fairly close in relation to where the body is. Whereas we see a lot of amateur golfers flaring this elbow out like this here. And then for the downs, we're gonna react and try and bring this elbow back in and it usually causes us to come too far on the outside. We have to drag the club inwards and then we end up doing all sorts. But if we just time that connection, you're probably gonna pull it massively left or slice the golf ball. So just to kick things off with the right arm and how it should work in the backswing, the difference between these two motions here, getting the club in this great position and this flared out position can all be simply to do with the way the right arm is set at the address position. If the elbow of the right arm is set facing towards the side on camera angle here, this indicates that this right arm of ours is very much so internally rotated to the body, where this forearm rotation, this arm rotation takes place and we grip the golf club. And then as we make our swing, it's gonna look great up until this point here, but we've got no choice now but to then push this elbow out. Rather than what we see so many of the tall players do at the address position, is externally rotating, having their right arm in this externally rotated position. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting my right palm here to face towards the face on camera here and that's allowing my elbow now to face more towards the body. Just twist the wrist back, grip it as normal and that should make things easier to start folding this right arm correctly. You can see there, once I make my way into this point in the backswing, I can fold my right arm even more so to get it set into the top of the backswing. So before we do anything, practice this move, stop this elbow facing away from you, get it facing towards you at the address position. Now to start the golf swing, it's pretty easy once we set this right arm into that position there with the elbow facing the body, as we can begin to allow this movement to take place here. So for me here, I'm just feeling like I'm keeping that arm a little bit more tucked in so it faces the body. I'm just getting that butt end of the club to face towards the target. And that's allowing me to set this right arm up in a great position, great takeaway position there with the club to then begin this rotation working away up to the top of the swing. What we wanna be careful of when doing this is when we even set the right arm like this, although it makes it easy to get this action correct, we can still now, and again, and I've seen this happen, get this movement here where the elbow moves and drags away from us. This is what it looks like with two hands, dragging motion here away from us. We tend to see the club work on the outside a little bit more doing this. Whereas if we do this motion correctly, we're getting that elbow continuing to face the body and that's allowing me to set that club in a nice position here. And to work our way up to the top of the back swing, we've got to allow for a couple of things to take place. Rotation, tilting, and also this upward motion, this upward lift of the club to set ourselves at the very top of the swing. So let's start off with the rotation. Well, simply we want to allow that back to face towards the target as we make our way into the top of the backswing. 
we also want to ensure that our tilting action is still on this 45 degree angle. Our spine angle is on this 45 degree angle, very similar to our address position here. We don't want to see it move this way, like this here, because that sets the club a little bit this way, makes it easy for that right elbow to move out of position. But we also wanna get this upward lifting of the club up to the top of the swing. So you can see here, all I've done is I've just took my right hand and placed it in the middle of the club shaft or in the middle of the club, and I've set this arm with the butt end of the club facing towards the target. And all I'm doing here is I'm just allowing this upward motion to take place here. I'm just getting my back to start rotating to face towards the target. You can see that I'm moving my hand, pushing my hand upwards, but I'm also ensuring that my left shoulder stays a little bit under my right shoulder as I make my way up to the top of the backswing. And you can see here, just using one hand doing this, it gets the butt and the club to face towards that camera there, making it so much easier to get the arms set where we want it to be. So we've got to be careful though, when we're doing this, too many golfers, I see it time and time again, they'll push this elbow round. They'll push this elbow round and out like this here. We want to be making sure that that elbow is facing still a little bit more in this upright position with the butt and the club pointing at the camera. Too many will go a little bit too far this way, flare that elbow out, and then that gets that overswing, and we have to react and do all sorts in the downswing. So just rehearsing this a couple of times, keeping that elbow facing the body, rotating up to the top of the swing, and then we can work on getting this action back down in the downswing to help with that downswing. But the downswing should be fairly simple because we're allowing ourselves to get into a great backswing position. This does make the downswing a lot easier, but I'm going to be introducing a video I'd recommend later on for the downswing. So the way we combine the three, the way we combine the three at setup, obviously gripping the club as normal, externally rotating this right arm at the address position, getting that takeaway so that right arm is folding and it's continuing, the elbow is continuing to face towards the body. For stage two, working on this upward motion, we're allowing this back to start to face towards the target. And we're also allowing this left shoulder of mine, so the lead shoulder to stay underneath my right shoulder. And we're getting that butt end of the club to face towards the camera over there. And you can see there, great backswing position, way more connected like we see the tour pros do. And what the tour pros also have in common is using a really high quality material of golf glove. Now, GX Golf is a brand new golf glove manufacturer that provides high quality golf gloves for a fraction of the price in comparison to the rest on the market. So using my discount code below, Harry10, you can get yourself a great 10% discount. I'd recommend checking them out. Links in the description below. So just rehearsing this all in one motion. This is how it should look in the backswing. Great set position here, ready to get that downswing to take place. Let's see what we think. Really nice strike, drawing a little bit to the left, which is something I'm struggling with at the moment. I close my face a little bit too much as we make our way down into the downswing. And if you find that when you try this, that the golf shots go a little bit too far to the right or left, but the strike is pure, I highly recommend checking out this video over here, which will teach you a great move to improve that downswing phase, to help you once you've worked on this right arm position at the top of the swing, how we can apply this then into the downswing. So I recommend checking that out, commenting down below the tips of drills video topic you'd like me to cover next, subscribing as there's lots more content coming your way every single week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in this video over here.